as you could tell, I'm going to be showing you how one person can eat off of just $10 in a week without using coupons or anything of that nature. I know it might sound crazy, but I promise you we definitely got this. So how we're going to make it happen is we're going to head over to Walmart right now, see how many products we could get for just $10. Of course, I'm going to try to keep it as healthy as possible. I'm super duper excited about this video, so let's jump right into it. This is my local Walmart here in Utah, and I just think it is one of the prettiest Walmarts I've ever seen. I'm going to take you inside and show you what I'm going to get to stay on our $10 budget. I'm also bringing my little daughter along with us because she's the best helper. The first thing we're tossing in the cart is one of these Granny Smith apples. Granny Smith apples are great for helping with inflammation. They're also super high in fiber and vitamin C, so that's why I picked up one of those. Also, Granny Smith apples are typically the least expensive apple in my store. You probably guessed it, but I grabbed one onion just to help out with flavor in some of the recipes, five bananas to go along with some of the breakfasts throughout the week. While we're still in the produce section, I do want to pick up about four jalapenos. They're only 98 cents a pound, so they are so inexpensive and they are super rich in vitamins A and C, so I always grab a few jalapenos when I'm at the store. I also always grab a little bag of some carrots. They're only 94 cents um, for one of these little bags. If I have extra carrots ever, I just go ahead and cut them and freeze them. So now over to the bread section, I decided to grab a bag of some white corn tortillas for only a dollar and 42 cents so I thought that was a pretty good deal so I snagged it. You typically see me grab lentils when I'm over in the bean section of stores but today I decided to get pinto beans instead because I was craving pinto beans. I love making them and then I also grabbed a little bag about a pound of some brown rice. Over to the cereal section, I'm going to be picking up one of these containers of quick oats. I love making quick oats for breakfast because they are so, so filling. I could eat the oats for breakfast and not really be hungry until lunchtime, so that is so nice. I don't have to worry about snacking in between those two meals. Over to the eggs, I'm picking up a dozen eggs for $1.79. Typically at my grocery stores, I could get eggs for pretty inexpensive. Here's a little rundown of everything that I picked up today at the grocery store and the prices. Of course, the quick oats, bananas, jalapenos, apple, carrots, onion, corn tortillas, beans, brown rice, and the eggs. So I did stay in the $10 budget. Now let's get back to my house and see what I could create with all of this food. It's currently 9.16 and it is breakfast time, so I'm getting a little bit later start on breakfast this morning, but that's perfectly fine. So this is going to be day for days one through five. I'm just doing the quick oats. I like making quick oats because you could just throw them in the microwave. But there's about six and a half cups of quick oats in here, so I'm just going to be doing about three-fourths cup of oats. Um, for each day, today I'm going to be serving it with the bananas we got from the store and then just pouring water. And then I'm just going to be adding a little bit of some cinnamon on top just for some flavor. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like all finished. Here is the finished product. I just topped the oatmeal with one of the five bananas from the grocery store. This is a super duper filling breakfast just because of the amount of oatmeal. And then the banana also adds some great potassium. So really nice, healthy, filling breakfast. Now we're at breakfast six and seven, so I did more oatmeal, but instead of doing the banana, we did an apple for on top. So I'm doing half of the apple today on day six and then half of the apple tomorrow on day seven. And then I did some more cinnamon on top, so I just sprinkled more cinnamon. Cinnamon is actually one of the healthiest spices on the planet, believe it or not, and then it's a pantry staple. Definitely for me, I always have it on hand. I know a lot of other people always like to keep cinnamon on hand as well. It is lunchtime for day one and I'm hungry and this smells good. So what I have here is three scrambled eggs. I used water instead of milk in the scrambled eggs. If you don't know that, you could definitely do that for your scrambled eggs if you don't have milk on hand and that type of thing. And then I'm using a quarter of the one of the jalapenos that we bought, a small bit of the onion. I just added that into the eggs now that the eggs are cooked. 
I like for the vegetables to be a little bit crunchy on the end, so that's why I added them after. And then I'm cooking up some of the corn tortillas. I'm just doing three today for lunch, just because that's kind of what I feel like. I might make another one if I'm still hungry, but I'm just crisping them up on my stove because I like them way better like that. And I will show you the plated up finished product. I sprinkled this with a little bit of some parsley at the end just to make it look prettier. And then I didn't mention, but I did season the eggs with a little bit of some salt and pepper while they were cooking. This is a ton of food. You see the three tortillas right here, and then there's leftover egg. I don't typically eat this much for lunch at all. So I'm going to be full until dinner, and I'm pretty excited about that today because typically I just snap on food all day so this is such a great budget friendly high protein option with vegetables that will leave you full for hours lunches days two through four is pretty much the same as lunch on day one but we're doing two eggs instead of three eggs today because three eggs was um, kind of a lot with the tortillas and then I am doing three corn tortillas on the side as well I'm doing pretty much the same thing like I said the jalapenos onions eggs just with two eggs instead of three. We officially have the pinto beans cooking away. So this is just the one pound bag of pinto beans. I have them cooking up right here. I did soak the pinto beans overnight in a large pot of some water. The reason I did have them soak overnight is just so they're easier to digest and then um, they are easier to cook the next day if you soak them overnight. I only season these pinto beans with some salt and pepper. You could also add a jalapeno in, peppers in, onion in, whatever you want. You could add into your pot of beans while they're simmering. These have been simmering for about two to three hours now. I'm going to go ahead and let them simmer for an additional 30 to 45 minutes just so I can get them to the softness that I like them to be. Lunch for days five through seven is one of my all-time favorites and a classic meal for my family. All it is is pinto beans with onion, jalapeno, and then some fried corn tortillas. I used to make this meal all of the time when my husband was going through college. We'd eat this type of thing probably like five times a week. I know it's crazy to say. It's just pinto beans have a great source of fiber, lots of vitamins, minerals, and they have a ton of great protein. And just that one pound of pinto beans made this many beans. So they're really easy to meal prep. And then you could also, after you cook these pinto beans, go ahead and freeze them for easy meals in the future. To save cooking time for the future, I'm just cooking all of my brown rice all at once today. Um, this is just the pound of brown rice and I'm cooking it in my Instant Pot just because cooking rice in the Instant Pot comes out absolutely perfect and it is just so easy to cook in there. So I'm gonna get started right now. One tablespoon of your favorite oil. I'm using olive oil. Next, add your two and a half cups or one pound of brown rice with two and a half cups of water. I like to cook my brown rice on high pressure for about 20 minutes just because I like it a little bit softer and then once it's through cooking I'm just going to be doing a quick release. It is getting pretty close to dinner time so for days one through three I am making the most simple stir fry. So in this pan I had a tablespoon of olive oil. Once the tablespoon of olive oil was hot I added three shredded carrots along with a half of a diced onion. And now that the carrots and onion are soft, I'm going to be going ahead and adding our three cups of cooked brown rice. The brown rice is also cooled and refrigerated. I like to do that for stir fry. I just think the rice turns out best in the end. So now I'm just going to brown the rice for about a minute or two just to get it a little bit crispy. I assume most people have some soy sauce on hand, so I'm just adding a tablespoon of soy sauce in. I'm going to combine it well with the rest of the ingredients. As you see, I just pushed everything to the side and now I'm going to be cracking our three eggs in. Scramble the eggs up and then once they are all scrambled up, combine them with the rice. You could add whatever veggies you like to the stir fry. If you have peas on hand, go ahead and add peas or green onions, seriously, anything you like. Of course, I was just using um, what we got from the grocery store. So this is my very simple stir fry recipe. 
Here's the finished product of my stir fry. I just topped it with some sesame seeds and some parsley. Like I said previously, I love making stir fry like this because you could throw in whatever veggies you have on hand. There you go, you have one of the quickest meals ever to make and then it is very delicious. It smells great and I'm gonna go eat this right now. For dinners four through seven, this is pretty much what it's going to be. I might switch it up a little bit within the next few days, but this is pretty much it. So just some carrot sticks, leftover brown rice, sliced jalapeno, leftover pinto beans, and then two of these corn tortillas that I'm frying up. It's pretty much a lot of stuff that's left over like the brown rice, but putting all of this together makes a pretty big meal that will definitely leave you satisfied and has so much nourishment in it for such a low cost. I could honestly say all of those meals were delicious, so I really hope this video helped you or maybe somebody who you know is trying to stay in a smaller grocery budget right now. I have plenty more grocery budget videos on my channel and I would love to have you here, so go ahead and subscribe down below the video and I will see you next time. Bye for now.